ask you, Lord, for understanding in these last days. But most of all, we ask you, Lord, for your spirit, the sweet Holy Ghost. God, we ask you, Lord, to anoint every word, every song. God, anoint our ears to hear what the Spirit would have to say to the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
people today all of a sudden. These stimulus checks and everything that's being pardoned and forgiven. But you know, one of these days it's going to catch up. We're, we might be, uh, the sentence might be set aside for now. And the, the money might be set aside for now. We won't have to pay anything back or, or anything like that. But it's going to catch up. As long as we're here in this earth, we're going to have to pay for it somewhere down the road. But when Jesus said that I forgive you, my daughter, glory to God, of all your sins, it's not going to catch up with me some down the, some way down the road. I don't have to worry about facing that ever again. Because when, when Jesus, when he tells you one time you're forgiven and you accept it and you believe, you're a saved child of God.
best friend. Besides Jesus, you got the wrong friend. Because Jesus is stick closer than a brother. Glory to God. He is a real friend. When you're up, he's your friend. When you're down, he's your friend. When you got money, he's your friend. When you have no money, he's your friend. Sing it again.
for some. Hallelujah. And Jesus is not your everything. He can be. Right now. Right now. You can accept Jesus. Hallelujah. You know what? You don't even have to kneel down to get saved. But it does show respect to God. You can stand. Hallelujah. Just ask God to forgive you of every sin. And mean it from the heart. Not a lip service. But from the heart, out of the bundles of the heart, the mouth speaks, yes. the Bible yes. says. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. You know, God didn't send Jesus into the world just for a few people. He sent him into the world for everybody. And in God, there's not different race, ain't but one race, and that's the human race. Hallelujah. And Jesus died for everybody. I like what my wife said. You couldn't have gotten more poor than we were when we got saved. We had nothing to offer him. And you know what? He didn't want nothing. He didn't require anything. He didn't ask us for money because he had we didn't have them none. Nothing but ourselves. And that's all Jesus wants from you today. Just give yourself to him. Hallelujah. And he'll take it from there. Glory to God. Don't try to work out your salvation because you can't. There's nothing I can do to uh, get anything special from God. Except pray. Just get myself. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, if you do that today, that'll be the greatest thing. Hallelujah. I love those songs they sung today. The greatest words you'll ever hear is when Jesus said, I forgive you. Hallelujah. And you know, I got to thinking about that. You know, when a young man or a young woman meet somebody, Especially that young man, he's so excited. The woman that he wants to marry, he can't wait to bring her home to introduce her to his family. And you know, vice versa. You know, when they sing that song about the friend, hallelujah, he's the greatest friend you'll ever find. He's the greatest person you'll ever find. The person, the man, Jesus. Hallelujah. And when you find him, you want everybody to know about him. Hallelujah. You know, some people, when they get something new or a new car, they want to ride by, come by. Hallelujah. Because they got something new. Amen. I want to tell you something. If you got Jesus, you, hallelujah, you want to tell somebody about him. He's the greatest person you'll ever meet. Hallelujah. You know, I can, can say comforting words to my wife or my family, but I want to tell you Jesus and get on the inside and there's no greater comfort than Him. Hallelujah. Do you love Him today? I woke up this morning thinking about there's somebody. Hallelujah. You need the Holy Ghost. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? And if not, why not? Why not? Hallelujah. I'll tell you what, in these last days, it's good to be born again. Repent from your sins. Hallelujah. You need to be filled. I'm talking about filled with the Holy Ghost. Where there be no room for nothing else. When you're filled with the Holy Ghost, there's no room for doubt, unbelief, sadness, or anything else. I'm telling you, you need to seek God. And if you're hungry and thirst after righteousness, the Bible says you shall be filled. Hallelujah. 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 I help people sometimes and tell me, well, God don't do anything for me. Liar, liar. That's a lie from the pits of hell. You're breathing God's breath. He's done something for you. He's kept you. You can't be burning in fire and hell. God's 
gave you life. And he's the only one. Nobody can do what Jesus has done. I don't know who I'm talking to today. But it's time to get serious. If you have to go without food or water, you pray long enough. My Bible tells me, seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be. How do you do that, Pastor? By praying. If you have to put some plates back, do it. Whatever it takes. Hallelujah. If I was a woman, I would just lock the door. Tell my family, if you got children or a husband, say, so don't bother me. Because I'm going to spend some time seeking God. And if I was a man, I might just get in my pickup or car and go out in the woods somewhere. You don't have to. You can do it in, in your home. That's what I did. I made up my mind. I needed Jesus. I was tired of being up and down, up and down, up and down. I was tired of going to church. And hearing the songs and get lifted up. It's time I go out the door, the devil faced me. Time I got on the job, hearing people taking the Lord's name in vain and all the filthy talking. And then come back Sunday night or Wednesday night and get back up. Then Thursday back down. Sometimes even Wednesday night I have to get home down. Hearing the singing up. Like a yo-yo, up, down. I got tired of that for three months that went on. I said, I need the Holy Ghost. I need power. And I went after it. <laughs> and got it. Hallelujah. The greatest thing is salvation. Hallelujah. The greatest thing in this earth is to be empowered with the power of God. There's nothing like it. Hallelujah. That's just a testimony. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, we appreciate everybody that's watching. Appreciate you that are here. It's time for the Word of God. Revelation chapter 18, verse 1. If you have your Bibles, or you want to turn to you on your telephone, thank God we got the Word of God on our telephone. We got the Word of God. The Word of God's everywhere. But you need Him inside. Hallelujah. I'm going to read it. I want you to look at it. Amen. I even had look, our grandson to read Revelation 18 verse 1 this morning. He did a good job reading it. And after these things, you know when you read the Word of God, you need to kind of slow down a little bit. It ain't how much you read. That ain't going to get you nowhere. You know, you, you, you need to... Uh, Study the Word of God to show thyself approved. But what I'm trying to tell you, you need every word of the Word of God. After these things, what things? Everybody's been talking about. This is 18, chapter of the book of Revelation, verse 1. So he's talking about the chapter before, 17, or even, even maybe 16 or 15. That's what he's talking about. After these things. I saw another angel come down from heaven. Now this angel came from heaven. Didn't come from nowhere on the earth. Didn't come from beneath, but from heaven. So that ought to get your attention. Amen. An angel coming down from heaven. God is fixing to speak through a, a heavenly being. And, and you need not to even listen to a preachers, even TV evangelists, if they don't live holy. If they don't have the real Holy Ghost, amen, you need to listen to thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. I saw another. So that meant that he, he seen several angels before. I saw another, and he has, you read the word of God, several angels has came down from heaven. Hallelujah. Have a great power. Glory to God. Great power. Now I can preach on after these things. Hallelujah, sir. Amen. The fourth chapter of the book of Revelation. That's the rapture. That's the type of the rapture right there. After these things, it said. After the, what he said about the seven churches, which represent seven periods of time. 
Hallelujah. After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power. God's power. Yes. Hallelujah. And the earth was lightened. Hallelujah. By one angel, the earth was lightened with his glory. Hallelujah. Not, not the stars. Not, not the sun. Not the moon. But by one angel with the power and the glory of God lightened the earth. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, after the destruction of the one world religious system, there's going to be a one world religious. They're going to be a one. Matter of fact, they've been doing it for you, trying to get one world religion. They, they don't want different religions. There's going to be one more. And you know what? One day, I was reading yesterday's study, there's not going to be no uh, state and church, no separation. It's all going to be one. They're trying to bring the church into the state. Trying to make everything one. And trying to unite. But I can't unite with the Catholic church because they're wrong. I can't unite with the Jehovah Witnesses because they're wrong. I can't unite with the Mormons because they're wrong. Mormons teach that the devil is Jesus' brother. Yeah. Jehovah's Witnesses teach there's no hell. But I read several times in the book of Revelation about the lake of fire. They teach that hell's on earth. You haven't had no hell until you go to hell. And I don't use that word disrespectfully. People say, well, I'm going through hell, so this is hell. You ain't had no hell. That's right. The lake of fire. Who's going there? Everybody whose name is not written in the land of the book of life. All liars. There's no white lie. If you're a liar, you're a liar, and you're going to hell. Lord. This is the book. The saith God. That's what he said. I can't associate. How, the Bible said, how can two walk together unless they agree? You can't just join up with any doctrine or church. Right. Amen. 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 They but one church. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. They but one way. Amen. Somebody told me Oprah Winfrey said there's several ways. She's a liar. Right. There's just one way to the pearly gates. Jesus is the way, not Buddha, not Muhammad, nobody. Just one way. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. People said, I wish I could find the truth. Find Jesus. He's the truth. And when you find the way, the truth, you'll have life and have it more abundantly. I don't know where that came from. Yes, I do. Right straight from God. Hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> They're going to, hallelujah, be a one world church one day. And they coming, working on it fast. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. A one world order. That's right. They want it. The devil wants it. But one angel. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God don't need a legion of angels. One. Just one. <laughs> Glory to God. Woo, don't you love the Lord? <laughs> My wife, she's, you know, you get into the Bible. And I just stayed in it all day yesterday. Even, you know, you'll probably sleep a lot better if you go to bed with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I'm still with that un. Godly person, you call your man or your woman. If you ain't married to him, he's not yours. Right. <laughs> you need to go to bed with the old prophets. <laughs> Hallelujah. You need to go to bed with Ruth and Esther. Hallelujah, you need to go to bed. What I'm trying to say is, hallelujah, the word of God. Right. You'll sleep better. If you're having nightmares, go to bed with Jesus. Right. Amen. We'll go with the God. I'm going to preach one of these days. You know, this is uh, the Bible been known as the bloody book. Yep. 
But without the shedding of the blood, there's no remissions of sin. Hallelujah. You need to go to bed. Hallelujah. With the word of God. And ain't no better. Hallelujah. To have sweet dreams of the Holy Ghost. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. Let me try to preach what the Lord gave me yesterday. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. That one world religion system. Babylon. You'll find that in the second chapter of the book of Revelation. Babylon, the mother. Listen to this. She is a prostitute, symbolically. That's right. Right. <laughs> she is a prostitute. That means uh, she's a bad one. This one world church they're trying to get in this system is bad. Yes. It's evil. She's the mother of all prostitutes. You know, by, by just saying a mother, calling Babylon a mother, you know that a mother, not just any woman is a mother. If she never had a, ch a child, she's not a mother. But she is a prostitute, wicked. Harlot, the Bible calls her. The mother of prostitutes. You know, She's got daughters. Can I just name a few of them, of her daughters? Would you like to know who the great whore the Bible speaks of in the 17th? Well, Sarah starts in 14th right on. Talks about how she's got daughters. The name of some of her daughters are this. You might have heard of New Age. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Yeah. You hear it right now. I know this is after the rap of the church what I'm preaching. Hallelujah. But everybody ain't going to be raptured. Amen. Amen. One of her daughters is named New Age. Yes. What's wrong with the New Age? Mm. That's right. It's of the devil. Don't be deceived by the great harlot of the heart. The one world religious system. Because one angel is going to take care of that. <laughs> Glory to God. And, her, and another name of her, one of her daughters is Satan worship. Y'all yes. know that there's Satan churches right now, right here in the state of Florida, where they gather and, and everybody's there to worship the devil. There's one in Tampa. One in Orlando. Somebody told me not long ago, there's one right here on Highway 92. Mm -hmm. Amen. The devil church. And there's a lot of them that claim, that not claim to be a devil church, but if they ain't preaching out the King James the Holy Bible, they ain't a God. Right. Amen. You're not for me, you're against That's right. Jesus. Now another is Mother Earth worship. I hope and pray that you didn't get into that the other day. Come on, Daddy. It's good Amen. preaching. Another one of her daughters. Another prostitute. That's after the church. Her name is Mother Earth. What? I tell you, Mother had nothing to do with it. Jesus, Mother Mary had nothing to do with it. It's God's earth. God created the heaven and the earth. It's God. Glory to God. I'm about to shout praise the Lord. I said, how can this be spiritual? Preaching on the last days. Well, I sure feel the Holy Ghost. There's a lot of people. It's wrapped up in church people now to be in the sea. Church leaders be in the sea. Yeah, it's coming. That's the next one. <laughs> yeah. Satan worship. Mother Earth. The next one, globalism. Yes. Yeah. Oh, globalism. We're all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hinduism. Yes. <laughs> Islam. You don't hear these things lately? Yes. Yeah, it's going to be even stronger after the rapture of the church. But it's getting 
ready now. Yes, yes. My Lord. My Bible tells me to pray that you be not deceived. Amen. Her daughters talk about love. You know, just like some charging, good looking man, he'll promise you everything. Yes. And some old disguised prostitute woman. Hey Amen. They talk about love, but it ain't nothing but lust. Don't get married because of lust. Get married because of love and it'll last 55 years or more. Amen. Preaching to somebody today. Just a strong feeling for that good looking man. Because he sweet, sweet things to my ear. He is a liar. He's a deceiver. And she is too. Yes. Preach, daddy. Good. I know you don't hear this kind of preaching nowadays. It's good. Mm. Amen. Talk about love and peace. Yes, they talk about it. <laughs> but none of them love Jesus. Amen. You can't get none of those type of people, the new age, the earth people, and all of this globalism people. They don't love Jesus. No. They don't talk about Jesus. All they talking about, come together. We're all one. And I want to tell you why. I'm Holy Ghost filled. But if somebody else wants to come into my marriage, they're going to get a knuckle sandwich, a knuckle flat out the door. I, I married my wife, and I'm not sharing it with nobody else. They ain't going to be no free sign. I'm telling you, the devil's out to rob and destroy every marriage. Yes, yes. I heard one of these devil preachers say that Adam had a wife before Eve. And that Jesus and Mary Magdalene was boyfriend and girlfriend. I want to tell you, I'll be scared to death to even think anything like that. My Bible tells me God created man. Yes. First, first Amen. First man. And, and he put Adam in a deep sleep and he took one rib. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't take one out of each side. He don't mean for you to be married to two. One. Whoa. I, I, I just about feel that off button on all those double and triple married preachers. Woo, I don't want to hear him. But my Bible tells me if you desire the office of a bishop, preacher, be the husband of one wife. That's right. At a time. Now she dies, I have the right. If I die, she has the right to marry again. Only death. But only in the Lord. But I told her I don't want another one. <laughs> Should be hard to replace. <laughs> How'd I get on that? Because it's, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> None of them talk about the peace with God. Jesus. They don't talk about all they talk about is that lust devil yeah. <laughs> coming together. Everybody loves everybody. <laughs> that ain't Bob. Right. Hallelujah. Now the, we pose to love everybody in in the love of God. Yes, yes. <laughs> Woo! Amen. I don't know if I'm about to quit now before I'm ahead. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm ahead. <laughs> I've already lost some people just watching. That's all right. Somebody else just clicked on that needs to hear the truth. You know why people don't have no peace, no fruit? It's because they never met the Prince of Peace. Amen. Hallelujah. They don't have no peace with God. 
You can't have the peace of God that eats your fingernails off. You can't have the peace of God to have to have a pill to sleep and a pill to get going. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He's the only peace. And he's the only man. Let me tell y'all something else I've been thinking on. Can I tell you something else? <laughs> you know, you ever hear people, let me tell you something. Well, let me tell you something. Through the anointing of God. Lately, all you can hear about is people coming from outer space. They the one that came from outer space. And his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus came wrapped up. God came wrapped up in flesh. Yes, yes. <laughs> they ain't no, what do they call them? Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> you know what? Your mind is so filtered with the things of the devil yes. and horror movies to you think everything's something. Yes. But they ain't no such thing as ghosts. They ain't but one ghost and his name is Holy Ghost. I've been in the graveyards at night. I ain't never seen no <laughs> ghosts or aliens. They're not. I'm 72 years old. Never seen one. And these people that do, they just cool. What you call that? Mm -hmm. He's late from yeah. drug, drug or something. Yeah. Lost their mind. Evil spirits. Evil devil spirits is released in the land these last days. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, this angel that come with power, glory to God that John saw. You know what? He saw a lot, didn't he? You know why? He didn't stay home on the Lord's day. Hallelujah. And he was on that Isle of Patmos, but he didn't stay away from church. Because the Bible said, hallelujah, he got in the spirit on the Lord's day. Oh, yeah. And then he started seeing things, yeah. <laughs> spiritually things. Hallelujah. Now, this, uh, the, uh, he saw another angel come from down from heaven with great power. This angel came, amen. He tackled the wealthy, one world political economy. Economy. Mm hmm. Well, I'm not going to criticize nobody, but the, right now the stock market is down and they're saying invest in oil, y'all. Well, they say you can invest in oil in the economy and, and it come back to you millions. Mm -hmm. Right now will be a good time. But listen to this preacher. Look at this preacher. It's going to be cast into the streets, the gold and silver. Yes. Yep. It ain't going to be worth nothing. Right. You can be the wealthiest. Who's the wealthiest man we know? I don't know nobody. But somebody calls us this gate man. Wealth and a few others. But, but the money ain't going to be worth nothing right. unless it receives the mark of the beast. Right. Yeah. I thought about that. Yeah, we need to invest in oil. <laughs> Woo! You know why we anoint people with oil? It represents the Holy Spirit of God. The only thing you need to invest in is the oil. David said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. You won't have to worry about anything. Hallelujah. He'll feed you when you're hungry. Hallelujah. He'll give you pure water that's not contaminated. Will. Hallelujah. Invest in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I know y'all don't like me. They didn't like the prophets of old either. Matter of fact, they didn't even like Jesus. Or the Apostle Paul. Woo! I could stay on that for a while. But listen to what? Oh, invest in all, all these old hypocrite Christians. All they desire is money. And some pastors can't wait to get the church filled back up because they miss that. Tithe! Preach that. Tithe, man! Preach for filthy Luke guy! That's right, that's the Bible. Amen. 
God. The Bible said the last days preachers are preaching for lucre, lucre, money, money, money. Look it up, look it up. Right. Money. Amen, amen. <laughs> Woo. You know, it's so easy to be deceived. Globalism. Yeah. One world church. <laughs> but listen to what Jesus What did Jesus say, brother? I, I can't wait to tell you. Look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth. Glory. That's it. Where moth and rust doeth corrupt. And where thieves break through to steal. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. In just a minute, y'all make a shout about our sheriff. Remind me about our sheriff of Polk County. <laughs> Verse 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Amen. Don't lay up treasure. Don't invest in the stock market. Come on. Yeah. Don't invest in nothing. The Bible said about this man, I tell you what I do. I tear down my old barns and I built new ones for all of my wealth. But Jesus said, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. God's got a lot of treasures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The main thing is salvation. Oh, sanctification. Yeah. Being sanctified. <laughs> Glory to God. I guess I'm a, one of those Corinth church. To them that are sanctified. Not going to be. You can't be. Those that are sanctified. Glory. I want to preach it. I don't care if you like it or not. Hallelujah. I do believe in sanctification. Both ways. It is progressives also. Where neither moth nor rust do it corrupt. Here it is again. Where thieves do not break through nor steal. Mm. Our church. I did it for you. Our church. You know what he said just recently? Again, by gun. Great judge. Yeah. yeah. Our shirt, the Pope County, just said it again. Everybody, buy you a gun that lives decent. You know why? I'll tell you what, if they'll fight over toilet paper, they're going to fight over food one yes. day. And a great famine is coming. <clears throat> I'm telling you what, but I kind of disagree with Grady Judd and our shirt. Hallelujah. First thing you need is the whole armor of God. Amen. Glory to God. Thieves are break. Why did he say rust? Moth of tinder, eat up cloth. Destroy it. Rust, everything. One day that you buy, you just set it outside for a while. Or even inside and don't never can't garnish it in rust. But we need the whole armor of God. The power of God is what we need. We need to invest in oil. Representing the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Verse 21. Don't let me forget verse 21. All you that want to invest in order to get rich. Security through finance, it ain't gonna be security one day. Right. <laughs> Lay up treasures, a lot of treasures, salvation, sanctification, baptism, the Holy Ghost, nine gifts of the Spirit of God, out of the fruit of the Spirit, the whole armor of God. I tell you, there's a lot of treasures. Amen. Listen to verse 21. For where your treasure, not treasures, no sad. Is there where your heart be off side? You know what? You just hang around some so called Christians and just the way they talk. Never mention the love of God. Amen. Never mention the joy of God. Amen. Never mention the peace of God. I will never mention seek ye first the kingdom. The kingdom. That's right. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. In righteousness. Never mention that. Amen. They don't. That's a shame, ain't it? Jesus. Oh God, my heart's broken. I know I preach like I'm mad. Hallelujah. And there and the earth, listen to this. I can preach off this just one verse. Revelation 18, 1. Hallelujah. For I guess all night, the earth was lightened. The light came on with his glory. It would not be the stars, the sun or the moon. That light, the earth. Hallelujah. One angel. One angel. Hallelujah. But the angel, his glory. Hallelujah. He will come directly from the presence of God. Hallelujah. There ain't nothing no better than the presence of God. That's what gets my attention. Something coming out of heaven. Now, you can read verse 2, 3, but I want to go to 4. Read it all when you have time. I'm closing. And I heard another voice from heaven. That's the voice you need to listen to. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Saying, Come out of her. You that wants to invest and get into this globalism and one world church, he's telling you to come out yes. of her, my people. Jesus. That you be not part Jesus. of her. My Lord. Her sin. Jesus. Her fornication. Yes. Her adultery. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Come on, Daddy. I'm not worried, I want to tell you again, about the corona, because I got Jesus. I'm sealed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. But you that is not filled, you need to be scared to death. I'm telling you, this ain't the end. No. Mm -hmm. no. no. I'm going to get that for a little while. It's, this old system's going to be like a yo-yo. Yes. Just to, to get, you, get, things, get you to invest and get you to... I told you ain't nothing to it. The seed. Oh, the seed. And then another one's coming. Yes. And, then, and there's one more earthquake. Jesus. It ain't just going to hit California. There's a big earthquake's coming. Hallelujah. And it's going to tear some things up. Mm -hmm. You better pray. Come out! From her. From her. Yes. You that missed the rapture, you can come out yes. of her. Have no part to do with her. Jesus. God help me. Bless him, Lord. But I'll tell you one thing. That's why the Bible is telling you, you know what? I'm not even gonna be here during that time. Jesus. I'm gonna be in heaven. Hallelujah. And you know what? You know what? What? Jesus. You can't be too. I'm I'm preaching to somebody that's watching right yes. now. You that here, you can escape all of this. That hour, a great tribulation is coming on all the world. Yes. It's gonna take, it take a lifetime. You know who the first, tell me who the first dictator was. Nimrod. You know what he did? He built a tower. He thought he could build a tower all the way into heaven. Yeah. You know who's going to be the last dictator? The Antichrist. Yes. And there have been hundreds of thousands of them in between. Yes. yes. Yeah. Maybe I'll preach on that next time. You know what? Nimrod, you know what he, he intended that tower to be? To study the stars. Yeah. Sorcery, astrology is 
witchcraft and yes. devils yes. from the beginning? Yes. Never yes. mind. I tell you, they're going to be, the world hasn't been deceived by a dictator, but one's coming. Oh, yes. You know why? Because man, I don't need God today. I don't need God in my marriage. I don't need God in my life. I'd rather have a man. You better get the man. And I want to take men. Want men. Queers. I'm at homosexual. I'm sorry. I'll tell you why. The devil even is trying to deceive some people to get those thoughts of homosexual. That's the devil deceiving you. Yes. I guess I better just start all over. Let's have a song or two. Let's start all over. I feel like preaching. Bless you. If every time the word of God needs to come, you need to hear a real preacher. Yes. Yes. You need to read the word of God. If you don't understand it, get in the church that preaches the truth. Hallelujah. And sit on the land of the man of God to preach on the things you ponder on. Amen. That's right. Amen. Uh, come on, sing. Hallelujah. Right where you are, you're here. These altars is open in this church. Always open. <laughs> and let me tell you about the people who live around here. Anytime you want to come to church and pray on the altar, just call Sister Massey. If you're a woman, she'll unlock the door and come in and pray with you. If you're a man, call me. If you're a couple, Call us both. I'm telling you, if you get saved right now, though, and escape all the mess, yes. my heart is heavy. Amen. You know what God spoke to me yesterday? My wife said, You studied all day, you ain't going to preach for about 30 minutes. I got some messages now in store in case a sinner walks through. I can just put this one right over here and I can take out that other one right in here. Amen. Why in the world preach on tithing when sinners is in your congregation? Right. Why in the world to preach on love, joy, or peace or anything else when there's somebody sitting in your congregation, in my congregation, facing to commit suicide and bust hell wide open. God wants people to preach the message for the time. Y'all know why I get down and preach on sin with sinners around? Because they need it. Amen. You better thank God for somebody that loved your sinner friend, your loved ones, enough to, to warn them. There's a hell to shun and a heaven to gain. Amen. Can we sing that song? Come to me. Heaven came down and, and glory filled my soul. You here stand home, watch it, sing along.
Yeah, we're fine.